Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today we're in the fish rooms, it's another fish room files type of episode. The reality of having a fish room means there's always jobs to do. Especially when I'm fixing things. So, Mega Tank recently had some problems, all sorted now, touch wood. But it just means explosion of mess everywhere as I try and panic and fix it all. So now that we've got it back to normality, pack stuff away, tidy up, put the the thing on the bottom again, get all the fish back into Mega Tanks. We've only got Gordon and Brian at the moment. And there's a few other jobs that I want to get done. So this TV, for instance, I haven't used it in six months, a year. Ever since I've used this place as my office because I have my computer and stuff over there. Plenty of screens over there to keep me going. Don't need that. Do need more storage. So I'm thinking of putting up a couple of shelves up there that I can just... The thing about a fish room is if ever you get any available space, you think, oh, that's great for some storage. And then you put a fish tank there and then you've got nowhere for storage. So underneath Mega Tank has got loads of storage. On top of all these racks has got storage, but it's just not enough and I need a bit more. But first order of business is to get these two um, back into Mega Tank. So I had kept them in this tank for a little while just to see if they were planning on starting a family. Um, but no, they don't seem to be. So this tank is going to get an upgrade. It's hopefully going to be a planted discus tank. And then when I have that as my backdrop on my live streams every Friday, 9 p.m. UK time, I'll have a nice discus tank, a nice planted tank. Show off a new CO2 product as well. But yeah, so let's get these guys out and back into Mega Tank. The thing is, Ooh. I've already spent a good solid hour cleaning down here and it still looks like this. But it's like the never-ending battle to clean up. So that's the first fish in. Obviously, temperatures have matched and all that good stuff. It's the same water in all tanks. Just to give us a bit of a bigger tank to play with. Oscar number two. We keep debating about naming these on the live stream. So obviously we've got Gordon, this giant snake head, and Brian, the giant Grammy. We named for the two Oscars. So come along and join me on a Friday night live stream or leave some comments below of what you think we should call the Oscars. I think the ones leading so far were Grouch. Uh, I can't remember what the others were, but yeah, let me know what you think. And then of course we've got the larger silver dollars. Still got some young silver dollars growing on. But these ones are big enough that they won't be viewed as a meal. I was about to say, and now we'll move the Severum across, but I cannot find the Severum. Um, it doesn't appear to be in the fish tank. <laughs> There's nowhere else for them to hide. And I can't find them anywhere else. It's completely disappeared. I mean, I've not smelled a rotting fish anywhere. And it, what? I can't, well, I'm trying to think, is it maybe two days since I've actually thought about looking for them? So, yeah, I definitely saw him two days ago. So he's been out no less than that. I've pulled everything out. I can't see that he's jumped out. And if he has, where has he gone? Bizarre. So I'm just doing a water change on that tank that had silver dollars in the Severum. Here I've been round, siphoning up all the dirty water, getting the sponges out to give the sponges a good clean because it's a particularly dirty tank, that one. I don't know why it gets so dirty. Um, but yeah, so I'm siphoning everything out, which I'm clean, moving all the rocks around, nothing. And then I just went to get the hose to start refilling. The Severum's just swimming along quite happily. I'm baffled. I have no idea how he managed to hide in there. But hey, good baffled rather than bad baffled. So this is how easily distracted I get. I said I wanted to put the cover on down here and remove the telly. And instead, I've water changed three tanks. I have moved the fish across, so well done me. 
but we'll get this back on because it doesn't take long. This I've always considered, oh, should I just go ahead and make some doors for this? But I'm embracing the DIY bodge nature. And this is just a cushion, uh, a cushion? It's not a cushion, it's just a, uh, come on Graham, you know the word, curtain. Where I think that works quite well because I can get easy access to everything. And it looks smartish. I'm just going to follow the line of that piece of wood. Hides a multitude of sins, as they say. So that looks all right. I don't know if I've ever talked about this before. This is a fairly new addition to the fish room. Um, it's just an overflow for the tanks that are lowered down. It's a pipe straight through the wall, just drilled a hole. That's stuff, just the expanding foam to keep it in place and keep it insulated. And it just goes straight out to waste. So normally, this is my waste water solution. Um, so all the tanks that are overflowing into that. But as you can see, it's a good four foot high. And if I want to get to the bottom of mega tank or even some of the lower down tanks, it can be quite hard sometimes to start a siphon. So I just added this to make life a little bit easier. Kind of hiding at the back, but that's my one remaining discus fry. Um, he's the only one that's made it so far, but doing all right. Just hiding out at the back because he saw the camera coming. And there we go. So, we've accomplished the tasks that we set out to do. We've got the, the bottom curtain on, mega tank's looking better, the lights have just gone off. But all oh, the fish are in there as well. So we've got the Oscars, the Silver Dollars, the Severum. And, of course... Brian and Gordon. I've uh, got the shelf up, a couple of hooks for the towels. The, my thinking is that I'm going to have some lots of hooks to hang things underneath, especially towels, it seems it's right next to the radiator, that'll be quite good. Uh, cleaned up some of the plugs and the routing of things. So for instance, we've now got the, the tap that everyone was so concerned about before. This is for, so this basically just runs into Mega Tank. Um, and I have it on a constant drip, or I can have it on a constant drip, it's just off at the moment. Um, and it was just kind of hanging in there, whereas that's now attached to the wall. I need to order more clips though to get all these wires tidied up. Um, so they should come tomorrow, we can get that sorted. But otherwise, I think we're good. So just a bit of a, a day in the life, if you like, in the fish room. Most days are like this. It's always There's always jobs to be done and I'm always behind on maintenance. So doing top-ups, water changes, all that kind of stuff. Fixing things that have broken. Making a mess, tidying up a mess. So I'll continue on with this tomorrow. But yeah, the lights have started going out. So it's time to say goodbye. Thank you very much for joining me. If you're into this kind of thing, there is a subscribe button down there. Give that a click. Or I'll see you on Friday night, 9pm. Most Fridays, we do a live stream with quizzes and gives aways. Gives aways? Giveaways. That kind of stuff. Anyway, bye!